In this video, we will show you how to replace your keyless entry pad on this Mercury Grey Marquis between the year ranges of 2003 and 2011. The keyless pad will be located on the driver's side door. Let's go ahead and start removing the inside door panel. To start this process, make sure your window is in the fully upright position. Let's use a plastic trim tool to remove this piece of trim right here. Pop that out of there. You'll find that you have one push clip holding it in place. Set that aside. Continue with the plastic trim tool and remove this window switch panel. Along the front, you'll find a small area that you can gently get in between and pry up. We'll make our way across here. There we are. Remove all of the electrical connectors from the backside. On each of these electrical connectors, you're going to find a tab that you can gently squeeze in and pull these apart. As you remove each connector, give it a quick check for corrosion. We'll set this aside. Now let's continue on with a small pocket screwdriver. Right inside the inner door handle, you'll find that you have a trap door that you can easily release with the screwdriver. We'll pop that out of the place. That exposes a T30 Torx head screw. Remove it. Now we can continue on with our trim tool to remove the inside door handle from the door panel. We'll set that aside. Let's continue on with a seven millimeter socket and remove four screws. We'll start along the outside here. Now you'll find two more along the bottom. And there'll be one more inside this area of the door panel. With all four of those screws out of there, we'll continue on by carefully lifting up on the door panel. You need to make your way up and over this door lock knob, but keep in mind there is still wiring attached to the panel itself, so we'll have to gently pull it away and disconnect the rest of that wiring. Let's make our way in here. You'll find for this electrical connector. <clears throat> now with this pulled away, we can start disconnecting our electrical connectors. For each of them, you'll find that you have a locking tab you can gently squeeze in and then separate it. As always, we'll just give them a quick check for corrosion and set them aside. For this one down here, we'll continue on with a small pocket screwdriver. Gently get underneath the locking tab and when you can pull it off. Set your door panel aside. With that out of the way, the area that we will be working is up and behind this area. To gain access to that, carefully pull down on this weather barrier. You don't need to go too much further than this. The next thing we'll do is start looking up in this area. What you're looking for is this metallic clip. You're going to have to grab onto this and pull it towards the right to remove it from the keyless entry pad. If you can't do it with your fingers, go ahead and use some pliers. Just be careful for the window. There's that.
make your way to the outside of the door. We're gonna carefully try to grab onto this and gently pull it off and away from the door, starting from the left side and rolling it up and out. We do still have wiring attached to the inside of this. You can either use a trim tool or carefully use a small screwdriver. Along the back side, you can continue on to removing the electrical connector by squeezing in on this tab and gently pulling it off. Quick check for corrosion. And there it is, friends. We'll clean the area with some gentle cleaner. Now we can install our keyless pad. Connect in your electrical connector. Give it a little click, make sure that's secure. Let's put this in place. Bring it down at an angle, sliding this area down and behind the door. Gently press it in. Make your way inside the door. From the inside, we'll continue on by sliding in our clip from the right side towards the left, sliding this around the keyless entry pad. Press that in as far as you can to make sure the keyless pad is secured to the door. Take a quick peek on the outside to make sure it's seated properly. Let's stick this back to the door in its original positioning. Now make sure you push this through that square notch. Along the back side, you wanna make sure that you connect in your electrical connectors. Just get this lined up and slide it in. Continue on to your two other electrical connectors here. Let's grab these wires. We're gonna make sure that these slide up and through the door panel as we continue. Now, when you go to put the door panel against the door, you'll find that you have several hooks on the door panel itself. And you also have several holes making its way around the door for each of those hooks to go into. We're gonna come up nice and high for the door lock and then continually press it towards the door as we slide the hooks into place. Get this lined up. Feel all the way around to make sure it's secure. Once you have the door panel aligned, continue on with your mounting screws. Unfortunately for ours, this one's stripped out in the door, but go ahead and start yours in there. We'll continue on by starting in all the rest. Once they're all in, we can snug them up. Let's snug them up. Let's install the inside door handle. You'll notice along the top and the bottom, you have several clips that are supposed to hold this in place. We'll put it in position, and lock it in. Continue with your T30 Torx head screw. Put on your protective cover, making sure the slots face towards each side.
Let's reconnect our connectors on our window switch, door lock, and mirror. Now we'll start putting this down in place, bringing it down towards the rear first and sliding it underneath the door panel. Make sure all of your wires are inside this area protected and then bring it down to the locked position. Let's move up to our upper trim panel. Along the bottom you have that little hook that goes behind the door panel and the one locking clip. Okay friends, we showed you how to install your keyless entry pad. At this point, you want to make sure that you test its functionality by putting in the original manufacturer code. If you wanted to reset that, you would have to of course go through the reprogramming, which you'd have to put in the original code, and then you can set it to your desired code. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.